Hey everybody, my name's Dave. Um, I'm back. It's good to be back. Um, so grateful for everyone who helped um, with the devotions while I was gone. They're going to continue to help. I won't be doing every um, doing one every week. We'll mix it up a little bit, but I'm very excited that God's doing a new thing. I hope that um, you're getting a lot out of it. I was watching them at home. I'm so blessed um, from all the different words that we got and all the different insights we got from God's Word. And so our goal in this every day has been just to give you um, that nugget that you can take with you throughout the day that you can have that will change your life a little bit in that moment and be reminded of who God is. So I'm in a season where I'm being reminded of that a lot. Um, I don't have a lot of control of what's going on with me. I've got some issues. Some of you know those issues. Um, sometimes they, they are worse than others. Um, one of the things, every once in a while, my, my leg will buckle. And so just recently, um, I don't know about you, but have you ever thought about what happens when you leave this world, what it will look like? Well, I was, um, well, here, let me just give you the picture. I was doing this thing, and I'm sitting there, and I'm staring, and I'm staring, and then my knee buckled, and I thought, I'm going to go to Jesus right now. And then I thought, I'm going to go to Jesus while I'm standing and looking in the refrigerator. Are you serious? Yeah, that's how I would have died. In the, looking in the, and some people would say it's probably appropriate. But anyway, that's not the way I want to leave this world. I want to leave this world um, grateful for who Jesus is, happy in Christ, um, that everyone knows that I love Jesus more than anything in the world. Let me share some scripture with you. In um, Colossians 2, 67, it says, So then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in Him, rooted and built up in Him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught. And this is the part, and overflowing with thankfulness. Man, I want in my life there to be an overflowing of God's grace, God's hope, and my thankfulness for who He is. Man, I am so thankful that I get to get up every morning. I'm so thankful that I have friends that check on me. I'm so thankful that I can just sit here with you right now and smile for just a second. Let me do that. It's not the greatest smile in the world, but it's my smile. We need to understand what it looks like to give thanks. So maybe today you need to call somebody that... Um, helped you out six years ago and just say, I want you to know, I, I, I'm very thankful for that time that you did this. Maybe you need to just be grateful to your parents, even though, you know, they did their, they had their goods and their bads. Trust me, I know I'm a parent. We do. But maybe you just need to say thank you for putting up with me and um, thank you for loving me even when I wasn't lovable. Um, maybe you need to do that. The one thing I think you have to do, though, is go on your knees and say, God, Thank you for loving me. I want to overflow with thankfulness. And the only way to do that, according to this text, is to be in Christ. you got to be in Jesus. So I want to challenge you as we kind of go into Thanksgiving season, if you will, to be grateful to Jesus, to be thankful for who He is, to find your smile, to find your hope, to find your peace in Him. That's the goal. That's the goal every day. And that's what I want to challenge you to do. Um, I hope you're doing okay. I'm uh, in a season where I'm learning what it looks like to just keep going, keep thinking, and keep hoping. That's the goal every day. And I hope that you catch that. I hope we can help you do that. If there's anything our church can do, we got lots of things going on. Um, check with us. Uh, message us. Let us know how we can love you and um, be there for you, um, let me pray for you right now. Father, I can't begin to thank you enough. Oh, Lord, I, I thank you that you even got me up this morning. I'm thankful for being able to share with my friends here this morning. Um, I'm thankful for the love and the grace and the hope that you give all of us. May we not take it for granted. May we know that we need you. If there's anyone that's listening to these words and they're hurting and they're tired and they're overwhelmed, may they know they can reach to you right now and just say, thank you, Jesus, and you'll help them get through it. May we thank you in all things. In Jesus' name I pray and all God's people say, amen. Have a great week. It's good to be back.